I'm Erin Ryder, news editor of The Horse, your guide to equine health care. We're here at Root and Riddle Equine Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky, where we're joined today by Dr. Tom Riddle. The investigation into contagious equine metritis now includes about 28 different states and several hundred horses. So we have some horse owners in the country who are being notified that their animals need to be cultured and some veterinarians who need to know how to do this because it's been a couple decades since we've had this issue in the country. So we're going to turn it over to Dr. Riddle now. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Erin. All right, we're going to demonstrate the procedure for obtaining the clitoral fossa and clitoral sinus cultures. These cultures are necessary to be taken um, in mares that have been imported and also mares that may have been exposed to CEM to determine if they have been infected. And what we're going to do first is the clitoral fossa culture. We'll get this wire, Calgy swab. We'll go into the clitoral fossa, which is located just below the clitoris. We'll swab that area well, and then we'll inoculate the Ames media. We'll get another swab, and we'll get a culture from the clitoral sinus. The sinuses are located on either side of the clitoris. There's a lateral and a medial. And this mirror is very clean, but typically there's some smegma within the sinus, which is a good way to locate the location of that sinus. And it's only necessary to culture one of the sinuses. And now we'll pass a speculum on this mare after I clean her up. After you've done the three sets of fossa and sinus cultures, it is necessary to get one uterine culture. And you want to wait until you've done all the fossa sinus cultures because you want to avoid using any antimicrobials that could interfere with the growth of the CEM bacteria in the fossa or the sinus. So we'll now clean her up. Pass a vaginal speculum. The cervix needs to be somewhat relaxed because you need to pass a swab through the cervix into the endometrium. Again, we'll inoculate the Ames media. It's important to submit the Ames media with the cultures um, as quickly as possible after they have been obtained. Ideally, you'd like to submit them within four hours. If it's going to be greater than two hours, you want to put those swabs either in a refrigerator or on ice. If you're shipping the swabs to the diagnostic laboratory, they need to be placed on ice and you need to make sure that you have enough ice packs that they don't melt. The diagnostic lab has been instructed not to set up any cultures if they arrive with warm ice packs. We're now going to demonstrate the procedure for treating mares that are either at risk, uh, they've been exposed to a CEM infected stallion possibly, or this procedure is also done on mares that have been imported from CEM countries. And what you'll first do is clean the clitoral fossa and sinus region with hydrogen peroxide. And what we're doing this for is just to allow the antimicrobials that we're using the best access to those sinus and fossa regions that might be infected. And then we're going to scrub the mirror with chlorhexidine uh, scrub. The CEM organism is, is sensitive to a number of antimicrobials, including chlorhexidine. So chlorhexidine is, has been my um, antimicrobial of choice. And we're wanting to make sure that we get the entire fossa region well and also scrub the clitoris if there's any smegma. 
and the sinuses, you want to make sure that has been fully removed and scrubbed. And then we're going to pack this fossa and sinus region with nitrofurazone ointment. Silvadine cream has also been used, uh, but I'll typically use uh, nitrofurazone. You want to just make sure that the entire fossa region is packed with the nitrofurazone. And then you also want to massage the nitrofurazone well into the clitoris. And this scrubbing and packing procedure is done once daily for five days. The uh, flushing with the hydrogen peroxide um, is necessary to be done only on the first day, though. Prior to starting the treatment of the mare for CEM, you want to have already obtained your three sets of fossa and sinus cultures. You want to make sure that they have all been successfully uh, received by the laboratory. No overgrowth has been reported because once you start this scrubbing and packing procedure, it would interfere with the ability to diagnose CEM if you needed to reculture. Thank you, Dr. Riddle. You're welcome. To read more about CEM diagnosis and culture, see Article 13422 on thehorse.com.